But I want to call Reverend Catherine Marple up to the podium, and we've been handing out the uh, prayer service, so if you can follow along on that or share with somebody who has one, we'll go ahead and uh, put ourselves in a prayerful state to, to do that. If everybody would respond in the bold italics. Responsive reading from Psalm 92 and 67. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, it is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. To declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. On an instrument of ten strings, on the lute and on the harp, with harmonious sound. For you, Lord, have made glad through your work. I will triumph in the works of your hands. God be merciful unto us, and bless us, and cause his face to shine upon us. That your glory may be known upon the earth, your salvation among the nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. And death so precious in your sight is the soul of each person that you sent your only begotten son to redeem us through the cross and the resurrection his coming was attended by the slaughter of the innocents victims of man's selfishness the first martyrs of Christ's kingdom death at the at the outset of their earthly life gave them the beginning of eternal joy today we are sad witnesses of a new slaughter of the innocents the voluntary destruction of unborn children Again, because of the selfishness of men, we seek your forgiveness from these offenses and ask for your mercy. We ask, too, that all who participate in these crimes, whether from ignorance, weakness, fear, or even malice, may be given the strength to repent and receive a fresh revelation of your truth and grace. Lord, have mercy on us and spare us from the punishment we deserve. Thank you for our Savior, who paid the price for all our sins. Grant us the abundant life promised to all who live according to your ways and your truth. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. The first reading is from Genesis 1, 26 and 27. Then God said, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish in the sea, over the birds of the air and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created man in his image, in the image of God, he created them. Lord God, we thank you for making us in your own image and for giving us dominion over the earth. Help us to remember that each human life has been made for you and your purposes. Amen. The second reading is from the book of Job 12, 9 through 10. Who among all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? In his hand is the life of every creature and the breath of all mankind. Gracious God, we thank you that our lives and our very breath are in your hand. Help us to respect each individual as a unique creation designed to bring glory and honor to you. Amen. The third reading is from Psalms 127, 3 through 5. Behold, the children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is, is thy reward. Like arrows in the hand of the warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. Holy Lord, help us to see each child as a precious gift. 
may she we never speak of unwanted pregnancies or even consider that a child is not healthy. All children are a blessing from you, our gracious God. Amen. In our fourth reading, it's from the Gospel of John 1, to 1, 1 through 3. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him, nothing was made that was made. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, you are the author and giver of life. We thank you for being our maker and for sending your incarnate, Jesus Christ our Lord. All glory, honor, power, and praise be unto you. Amen. Please pray with you the prayer of commitment. Lord God, I thank you today for the gift of my life and for the lives of all my brothers and sisters upon this earth. I know there is nothing that destroys more life than abortion, yet I rejoice that you have conquered death by the resurrection of your Son. I am ready to do my part in ending abortion. Today I commit myself never to be silent, never to be passive, never to be forgetful of the unborn. I commit myself to be active in the pro-life movement and never to stop defending life until all my brothers and sisters are protected and our nation once again becomes a nation with liberty and justice, not just for some, but for all. Jesus Christ, Amen. Please join in singing once more the uh, verse from Praise God on your prayer sheet. Mm -hmm. 